Hey guys, in this video I am going to talk about prefix summary. So let's start with the problem. Uh, let's say we are given an array a1, a2, dot, 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 an. And we are given some queries. And in each query we are given some range L to R. And we have to find sum of elements between this range. For example, if the range was let's say 2 to 4, then we would have to find a2 plus a3 plus a4. Now how can we solve this problem? The first method that can, can come to our mind will be brute force manner. Okay. So in brute force what we will do? We will just iterate from L to R and in each iteration we will add our AI to it. So this will, uh, this will give us O N complexity. So uh, this is uh, not very good complexity because we can get TLE uh, as uh, we are given queries in the range from 10 raised to power 5 let's say 0 to 10 raised to power 5 so how can we improve our solution now we can improve it using prefix summary so what is prefix summary prefix summary gives us the sum at a particular index starting from the first index for example in the prefix summary at the first index we will have a1 at the second index we will have a1 plus a2 third index a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on so this will give us the sum of elements starting from the first index up to an index i so now how will we find the sum between l to r so for that the formula is prefix of r minus prefix of l minus 1 this will give us the sum of elements between this range ok so for example the range was 2 to 4 at 4 we will have stored uh, a2 uh, a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 and we will have to subtract prefix of l minus 1 so the l is 2 so we will have to subtract prefix of 1 which is a1 now we will get a2 plus a3 plus a4 which was the required sum so we have found our sum in o1 time ok so this is the prefix sum for 1d array now let's uh, give it a variation let's say we have to find now we are given some range l to r and we have to find al into 1 plus al plus 1 into 2 plus al plus 2 into 3 and so on now how can we find it using prefix summary so we have to maintain two prefix summary in the first we will have a1 a1 plus a2 and so on and in the second prefix 2 we will have at the first index we will have a1 at the second index we will have a1 plus 2a2 at the third a1 plus 2a2 plus 3a3 and so on now what we will do is prefix of 2 of r minus prefix of 2 of l minus 1 what will this give us for example if the r was 5 and l was uh, let's say 3 so what will this give us prefix 2 of r will be 5 into a5 plus 4 into a4 plus 3 into a3 plus 2 into a2 plus a1 and prefix of l minus 1 would be L is 3, so L minus 1 will be 2. So 2A2 plus A1. Now if we subtract this from this, we get these are cancelled. So we get 5A5 plus 4A4 plus 3A3. Now the required was A3 plus 2A4 plus 3A5. Now if we subtract 
टू मल्टीप्लाइड विद ए थ्री प्लस ए फोर प्लस ए फाइव वी कैन गेट आवर रिक्वायर्ड सम नाउ वट इज दिस सम दिस इज जस्ट प्रीफिक्स ऑफ आर माइनस प्रीफिक्स ऑफ एल माइनस वन एंड दिस कोफिशेंट इज एल माइनस वन सो आवर फाइनल फॉर्मूला विल बी प्रीफिक्स टू ऑफ आर माइनस प्रीफिक्स टू ऑफ एल माइनस वन एंड वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट एल माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ प्रीफिक्स ऑफ आर माइनस प्रीफिक्स दिस इज वन प्रीफिक्स वन ऑफ एल माइनस वन सो दिस इज द फाइनल फॉर्मूला टू कैलकुलेट दिस टाइप ऑफ सम सो यू कैन हैव सम वेरिएशन एंड यू हैव टू सी वट यू हैव टू डू नाउ लेट सी टू डी प्रीफिक्स सम एरे सो इन टू डी प्रीफिक्स सम एरे वी आर गिवन ए टू डी एरे and we have here a11 a12 a13 okay a21 and so on a22 a23 and so on like this and we are given queries as follows uh we are given x1 y1 and x2 y2 for example if x1 y1 was here and x2 y2 was here then we have to find the sum of this rectangle so how do we do this uh, what we can do is we can make our 2d prefix array and in the first row we can store a11 here we can store a11 plus a12 and so on and in the first column we have we can store A one, A two one plus A one one in the third column. So this is just like one D prefix array, the first row and first column. Now how will we find the intermediate boxes? So we can see that if we add like, let me make a clear box. so we have to find prefix sum of this box i mean starting from this point to this point okay so how do we do this so we have already found let's we have already found our this box and this box now what will this box give us this will give us the sum of these elements and this box will give us let me just change my pen so this will give us this sum and this will give us this sum so what if we add these two these uh, this and this so let's say this box was x y that we have to find so prefix of x y will be prefix of x minus 1 y plus prefix of x y minus 1 now we have we can see that we have added this thing two times so we have to subtract this one time okay so we can subtract prefix of x minus 1 and y minus 1 so we have found our prefix sum array for this 2d array now how will we answer the queries let's say we have to find between x1 y1 and x2 y2 so for example this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 let me change pen so this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 so we have to find the uh, sum of this rectangle now what is this sum we can see that um if we take this prefix sum so 
prefix of x2 y2 and if we subtract this rectangle from this sum and this rectangle from this sum okay so we have to subtract this this point is x2 y1 or x1 y2 okay this point is x1 y2 and this point is x2 y1 now we can see that we have subtracted this thing two times so we have to add it one time so we would have to add prefix of x1 y1 so this is our final answer this is the sum calculated for our this query so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching